Good. Use the outside of your foot as you go on. That's good. Perfect. Nice job. So as you go around each cone or pole, you go around with the outside of your foot. Okay. Then run all the way back to the starter cone. Good. All right. Maybe you're up. Go. Nice. Good. Nice tight control. Well done. Good. Good. Nice job. All right. So what do you think? Why are using the outside of your foot so important? You can get around somebody better? Yeah. What do you mean by that? Like if you find a space you don't have to go like that because they have a little space that if you go like that. I can't see you. You have to talk to the eye, camera so they can hear you. Okay? Say that again. Say that again. If you go like this, you won't get a bigger touch, but if you go like this, you can get around them easier. Can you show us how to do that as an example? Like right now on your pole? So attack the pole. And if you use the outside of your foot, you can get around the player. So, so you're saying the outside of your foot helps you get around a player quicker? Yeah. Is that true? Is that true, Maven? What do you yeah. think? All right. What do you, let's see you do it. Can you tack the pole? There you go. Good. Nice. Good. Okay. All right. That's it. Good. So well, I'm going to tell you, see how there's colored cones on each pole so if i say go blue go go orange or go yellow you're going to run to that pole attack it okay and you're going to do it with it outside of your foot so you're going to use the outside of your foot and move okay so i want you to attack it ready when i say go go finley you go first ready go orange okay good Okay, can you attack it a little bit more with real, like some real oomph? Like that's a, you know, first of all, these are players like this super skinny? No. They're a little wider, right? And they have longer legs. So make sure you go around them like it's a real player. Does that make sense? Try that. Okay, maybe you're up. Ready? Orange, go. Good. Oh, all right. So <laughs> there's an example of where, hey, <laughs> that happens, right? It's a wide player, that, and you put it too much touch. What do we call that when you put too much power on the ball? Uh, weight of the pass. weight of your pass or your touch, right? It was a little too strong, and it squirted off, right? So that's kind of a term we use a lot is weight of your touch or weight of your pass. So that's kind of important to do that. So in the meantime, I'm going to introduce you to one of our other soccer mates over here. This is Felix lounging, hanging out. Oh! It's nap time over here. Yeah, it's getting me kind of a lazy day over here. And then this is another soccer mate. This is Murph or Murphy. Hi, Murph. Can you say hi? So you'll be getting to see them off and on through the training time. So might as well get to know them today as well. So off off to it. Ready? Whoop. Careful. So back at it. Code now. Ready to go. So um, Maeve, ready, set, yellow. Good, nice bets, more control on that was perfect. Okay, good, Finn, blue. Okay, good. Maven, orange. Good. <laughs> that happens. But here comes Georgie. Georgie's coming over to help you. Come on, George, go over there. Help the fallen girl. <laughs> good job. All right, Finn, you're up. Ready? Ready, go. Ready, yellow. Nice. Good. Maeve, orange. Nice. Good. All right, Fen, blue. Okay, good. Now, I'm going to add two cones. So you're going to go from one to the other. Okay, so I'll say blue, yellow, or blue, orange. Let's bet what we're going to do now is we're going to make the, the field a little bit bigger so it's a little bit harder. Okay. All right, ready? Might tie your shoe after you're done. Maybe the shoe's untied. Ready, set, blue, orange, go. Nice. Finley, yellow, blue. OK. 
Good. Nice. Nice touch of the last one, especially. Use that. Can we do... Now, when you go around trying to beat a player, is it good to make a shape like a V shape or an L shape? Do you guys know what I mean by that? So here, here's an L and here's a V. So as you're going around the cone, right? So you, you want to try to use a little bit more of an L shape if you can, because if it's a V shape and you're attacking them, the player's legs will reach out okay, and get it, right? So the, if you go to the attack of a V instead of a true harder L shape. Let's see it, let's do an example. Finley, can you give me an example of a V? Attack that with a V. So, well, uh, try it again. So I'm trying to, try to use the outside of your foot, but try to, instead of making an L, more of a diagonal pass. It's a, it's more of a dot. You're not, you don't have to do a pullback, just dribble right at it. And then do a V, that's it. So more, that was more of a diagonal. So in other words, same thing as a, V is more of a diagonal pass. Now, Maven, you're going to make a true right-angled pass. Ready, set, go. Okay, all right. She used the inside, right? Try that with the outside, though. Good. See, that was more of a true right angle. The benefit of that is actually allows the player to uh, not reach the ball. So if it's a V, the, the player will probably reach the ball. Okay, so it's good to use the outside of your foot. If you have to use the inside, that's okay, too. All right. Ready? Let's go. Ready, Finley? Orange, yellow. Go. Nice. Good. 